Welcome to another vlog and this one is a travel vlog. So I am in Vegas right now y'all. I'm here for a solo trip and it's actually not for Vegas. I'm just actually staying in Vegas um, but I'm actually going to the Grand Canyon tomorrow so I'm going for the whole day. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while and for those out there that don't know I am I love solo traveling like I like it. I feel like it's a time to like, I don't know, get away from like your usual scenery and do something on your own. And I don't know, and just like do something for yourself. But anyway, I thought this would be like a good solo trip. That was kind of like on my to-do list this year um, was to do a solo trip. Um, I used to travel for work a lot by myself and I actually gained like a love for it. But this is my first time I ever traveled where it wasn't like work or anything. It's just I'm just doing it, you know, I'm just here. But anyway, I'm going to tell y'all later about my whole experience getting here because oh, I I was honestly, I literally just sat here for like 20 minutes trying to debate if I'm going to actually go out tonight and eat because I had a res I have reservations at Gordon Ramsay State. And honestly, small part of me was like, I'm not, I don't want to go because as y'all hear this story of me getting here, but I'm here. I'm gonna make the best of it. And I'm gonna go and actually um, do my makeup and everything like that and get ready because my reservation is in like an hour. Um, so yeah, so let's get it. Like I said, I'm going to Gordon Ramsay State and I need to head out because reservation is in literally 15 minutes, baby. All right, and I gotta order an Uber, so. <laughs> Din Din. I had a really, really good time. And I'm actually going to do like a little room tour for y'all because I didn't do it when I first got here because I was running late. Well, I wasn't running late, but I would have been running late if I hadn't like jumped into getting ready. But let me do that and then I'm going to get back. So this is the entrance right here. It's the door. And then right in front of it is this cute little bathroom. As you guys can see, I've already put all my makeup and products over here. And there's actually a TV in here as well. I love that little globe. Um, this is basically the 
shower and then there's the tub in there so it's all like together and then this is just the bathroom use the restroom and then there's also just like a freezer and there's a refrigerator and then there's a stove um a refrigerator and i'm sorry a microwave refrigerator down there microwave and there's some cabinetry up here little table to like eat or work on um this is the closet right here and i'm actually gonna put like my stuff in here which is why it's already open but this is the closet um this is the bed and they have like these little purple mood lights around here um this is a long like table with chair and this is the tv that's facing the bed and also they have this long mirror right here above the bed and then there's the second tv over here because there's like a little living room space over here and then over here is a v balcony and you can see all of like vegas but you can't really see it right now because it's a glare from the the glass all right so yeah that's the room um it's a cute little room i think it's i'm, I'm not gonna really be in it like i'm gonna be in it tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to be like at the Grand Canyon all day and then come back, go to sleep. And then I'm leaving Monday morning. So I didn't want to do anything like extremely fancy or anything like that. I feel like this is just perfect for the two nights that I'm going to be here. But guys, I'm going to now like just um, take this makeup off, take a hot bath. They have like jets in that bathtub in there. So I'm like... I actually like do I want to take like a bath tonight I have to wake up super early tomorrow so tomorrow is the Grand Canyon I have to wake up at five because I have to be downstairs by six because that's what time they're picking me up for like the tour so yeah maybe I'll take that bath tomorrow and like relax and stuff like that after I come back from the Grand Canyon because I'm probably gonna be dusty so yeah also I would highly recommend going to gordon ramsay steak i went there like years ago with my sisters when we first came to vegas this was like years ago it has to be like about seven years ago or something and we went there and it's still immaculate it's still absolutely delicious like i definitely highly recommend the beef wellington when i tell you it's the most tender meat i ever ate in my life in my life baby in my life so highly recommend that i did get some oysters i got a glass of wine because i felt like red wine went well with the beef wellington um it was just vibes on the vibes on vibes there but i will talk to you guys tomorrow tomorrow's the day tomorrow is the day good morning it is um sunday and I am up, it's 5.30. I've been up since, well, I've been up honestly since 4.30. Cause technically in Atlanta, 4.30 here is like 7.30. So yeah, I'm still like on Atlanta time, but I'm up. I have to be down there as far as like, it's going on like probably like 5.40 now. Cause last time I checked, it was like 5.30 something, but whatever. I'm probably gonna go down there at like 5.50 cause the bus is gonna be down there at six to pick me up. So we can head to the Grand Canyon, baby. And I don't know if I said this already, but this is the main reason that I'm here. I was not here in Vegas to turn up or anything like that. Obviously, I ended up having um, dinner last night, um, but I came for the desert scenery, baby, this time around. The desert scenery and to get some time to reflect and be in a quiet space and i'm really really excited like i'm really really excited about this day um i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna be wearing today all right so this is the fit that i have on i have like my um my nikes and i just have on one of my little shein um workout outfits for today just want to make sure that i'm comfortable and everything like that um since there probably is going to be some hiking involved and everything and y'all okay fun fact i was last night i was like where is the full length mirror they don't have a full length mirror when i was trying to get ready for dinner and 
last night when I was about to take my shower, I realized I'm like, it's right here, Stephanie. I feel like this hotel has like so many hidden things, but really not hidden. Whatever. But y'all, I'm about to go on. I'm like, I'm about to fall. But y'all, I'm about to go downstairs and um, probably just sit in the lobby because I want to make sure that I don't get left, baby. I don't want to get left. So I'm going to see y'all down there. towards the Hoover Dam and it's so freaking gorgeous oh my god I'm just trying to get like to the middle part so I can take more better footage for you guys but it's, it's freaking breathtaking so this is the Hoover Dam so cool Honestly, I never thought like the Hoover Dam would be so beautiful, but I never also didn't realize why it was so important because I'm guessing that um, Arizona and California like flooded before then and actually it helps like cut down on flooding and it supplies water and um, electricity to like the Southwest. So it's really important, but I would definitely recommend checking it out. To like the canyon which is super duper cute so i'm just waiting on the table and yeah but it's so gorgeous up here y'all i'm gonna give a whole like recap because i feel like i'm just taking it all in right now but i'm gonna give a whole recap of everything and when i get back to my room with everything and then um yeah but enjoy the views enjoy the scenery take it all in honestly i feel like the camera does not give it just it's like you have to come and see it in person to like really experience it but
walking this little cute trail and it's so nice and i feel like the weather is like perfect i think it's like 74 degrees out here um there's two stops on this tour so this was the first one i just had lunch there they have the skywalk there um i think you guys kind of saw it where it's like this glass um skywalk that you can go out on and it's a glass floor and you can see under like the grand canyon and everything and you can look out on it um the only thing i wanted to do that but you can't take like your camera or anything because obviously they want to take photos for you so they can charge you but um yeah so i felt like just having lunch there and being able to see it from that view was perfect enough but y'all highly recommend this this is beautiful look to head to the second spot because i heard that spot is like the most prettiest spot of them all and so i'm really excited and then after that um that's it you can do um like helicopter rides over here and everything um and i think you can do like um boat ride and i think you can zip line but i didn't want to do any of that type of stuff right like today i just actually really wanted to take everything in like and just i don't know have kind of like a quiet moment because it's kind of quiet out here they're also doing like this little show up here if y'all hear something in the background but i love it i just love this <sighs> call me weird but it's just so pretty and so nice but i'm gonna see y'all the second spot okay I'm about to hike up this little rock mountain thingy. Wish me luck. <laughs> We're gonna see if I make it up. It's like a little tip top point of it. And I need to actually check to see if I'm good on time because I have to be back at the bus at like no later than 150. And I got over here like around 1230. But this is by far the prettiest spot. Like the first part is pretty, but this is just like immaculate. Like it's so gorgeous. Like I just, I just feel like the pictures just don't do it justice. But I'm about to hike up this hill, y'all. It says extreme caution. Damn. Okay.
y'all. So I'm headed back down the little rock mountain thingy that it was. Um, come on. So I just got back down the little rock mountain thingy and I'm walking back to the front because it's like one, I have to be back up there like around 135 and I actually want to stop in this little gift shop thingy and it's a gift shop at the front entrance too to get my mom and grandma some things. So I do not want to leave y'all. I didn't think I was going to like it this much but I really do. So gorgeous. So I'm back in my room. It's five o'clock. So I literally got up at 5 a.m. this morning, back in the room at five. So that's the win because I feel like when I saw someone do this tour on YouTube before, they got back in their room at 10 and they woke up like the same time as me. So yeah, I'm glad that I actually got back at a decent time. But y'all, I had a blast. Um, I had so much fun. I feel like this was so freaking worth it. Like after yesterday, the day that I had, like I haven't even gotten into that with y'all yet, which I'm about to. But after that day, this really, really, really made up for it. And I'm just happy I did this. I, I really, really am. I loved it. And I'm in my head, I'm thinking like, where am I going next by myself? Where am I going next? What's the next destination? Because... Yeah, also I'm drinking on some wine. I mean, because it's kind of like, it was like semi actually in the view. But I'm drinking on some um, red wine, Cabernet Sauvignon, baby. Because last night I did buy a glass of wine downstairs at that bar downstairs. And baby, it was disgusting. It was the most disgusting wine I ever tasted in my life. But but anyway, we sipping on some good wine tonight. This is Josh. Um, Josh wine, y'all know my favorite. Um, but anyway um let me get into the whole spiel of yesterday i did not really want to talk about this yesterday because i was everything i felt like was just going so freaking wrong and so when i got here i had decided like oh i'm gonna like you know start a vlog and then tell them like everything that happened but to be honest by the time i really got here i was just like i just want to get ready go to dinner and like not relive what i literally just went through but now that I just had like an amazing day, oops, ooh. <laughs> now that I've just had like this amazing day, I'm gonna catch y'all up and get y'all all up to speed with what happened. So, so basically, I was supposed to, um, my flight was supposed to leave at 11:40 yesterday, and long story short, I didn't leave until like. It was almost three o'clock and that's because there was like a malfunction on the plane and for those out there who don't know i have a fear of flying so when they started saying like oh the plane isn't functioning properly um maintenance is trying to get up to us up to speed and then we like pulled over we were like going to the runway about to go take off and then they pulled us over to the side and like by that time i'm like literally freaking out but trying to keep myself together but like freaking out on this freaking plane and i'm like please 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 just turn us around just turn us around and give us a new plane like i'm literally praying to god because i'm like there's no way i'm gonna fly four hours in the plane that's malfunctioning and we ain't even taking off so basically in a nutshell that's exactly what ended up happening they called us back to the gate they ended up taking us off the plane and then they ended up routing us to another gate. It took like another two hours after that. And then we left at three. Um, and we got delayed a little bit more because people kept getting up when we were doing like the safety video, which everybody knows when you're doing like the safety video, you, you're supposed to watch the safety video. People kept going, going to the bathroom, all this stuff. So they had to play it twice. So then we got delayed more. Um, they did give us a $50 credit, even though I feel like that it should have been more than $50, but that's a whole nother story. So the flight here was, it was fine. It was nothing wrong with it until we landed. When we landed, it was the hardest landing of my life. When I tell you, when we bumped that runway, it was like, what the, f sir, sir. Okay, that was one thing. So then once I get off the plane, I'm like, okay, we're here. That is behind you. It's okay, it's cool. Okay, so 
I go get my bags, everything. And then by the time I get my bag, I go up to like the spot where like Ubers come because I had ordered me an Uber. I'm like, oh, let me take my, my AirPods out because I have my AirPods in. I'm like, let me take my AirPods out. Take this one out. And I'm like, AirPod has fallen out. So then I'm in a situation right then where I'm like, do I want to cancel this Uber? And they're going to probably charge me to go back and look for this AirPod. Or do I want to just get in the, the Uber and just forget about it? And I literally debated it. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I I'll just buy some new AirPods because I'm not about to go on a wild goose chase because who knows where the hell it is. So I'm like, just forget it. So then that was another thing that just kind of like really kind of ticked me off because I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like now I'm going to have to go and buy me some new AirPods. Now that was my fault because I shouldn't have walked and did all of that like type of stuff with them in my ear because everybody knows they easily fall out. So I'm like, I'll take that. I'll take that ill. So then I'm like, all right, that's past you. Get in the Uber. Uber ride is fine. Get to the um, hotel. Okay, so this hotel, I feel like the room is cool, like everything like that. It's nothing wrong with the room. Um, but the main reason I really wanted this room is because it faces like downtown, like a city view of Vegas. And I really wanted that so I could sit out on the balcony because there's a balcony out there. So when I'm checking in, ladies like, oh yeah. So all of our balconies are locked. Um, so, you know, you won't have access to that. I was like, Urgh. hold up, hold up, hold up. Why, 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 why is it, why is it, why is it locked? Man, why is it locked? She's like, well, you know, because we had some issues with people throwing things over it and everything. So we've locked them for it for now. Maybe, you know, in the future we'll unlock them. What kind of fucking hotel locks a balcony? I've never seen that. I've never. I've never seen that. So that really put the cherry on top for me of like me being PO. So by the time I got up to this room, that's why I really didn't feel like recapping because I was really pissed off. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? And also I'm like, why are y'all charging people resort fees if there isn't like a resort in this hotel? There's only a bar and like a gift shop down there. That's it. This is, that's not, that's not a resort. But anyway, anyway anyway <laughs> i'm just happy that today made up for yesterday because today was beautiful today was wonderful i would highly highly recommend anyone who is looking to go to the grand canyon you kind of interested you kind of like mm, i kind of thought about it. do it it is beautiful it's it's just serene it's just so beautiful i know a lot of times people will be like, oh, why do you want to go see a big hole? Like, honestly, I was waiting this morning for, like, the tour person to come. And it was, like, the security guy down there. So, he was, because it was it was early in the morning. It was, like, 6 in the morning. It was still dark out there. So, he, like, came over and, like, waited with me, which was really, really nice. But we were just talking with each other. And so, he was like, what made you want to come see the Grand Canyon? He was like, you know, I've been living here for six years. And I don't know. It's just, like, a big hole in the, you know, in, in America. And I'm like yeah it is in a sense but it's it's so much beauty to it like until you go and see it and like honestly the photos and the videos really don't do it justice like you have to see it with your own eyes it's the most beautiful thing i've seen but honestly i would highly recommend doing it um i think it would be if you're looking to do like a first solo trip i would say this is like a perfect first solo trip to get you in the groove of it but you can also do this with like a friend i feel like this would be like a good like like best friend type of trip with each other or also like if you got your boyfriend or something like that you can do it with that um i had a ball y'all i had a ball but i'm probably going to um call it a night like i'm not i was thinking of going out I don't think I'm gonna go get no food I actually I already know I'm not getting no food I already got food before I got here and I got my wine and I got my snacks for tonight and I think I'm gonna take me a little uh dip in the little jacuzzi tub in there tonight and yeah got my wine baby um but 
I'm gonna talk to y'all later, maybe later tonight. I don't know. Um, Found the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. I'll take a hit and still finish and one, yeah, yeah. Too far away from our hearts, yeah, yeah The ones we keep close, we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind, fix yourself And realign yourself with the world, baby Breathe slow, baby, yeah Hi guys, so it is Wednesday I have been back home since Monday, I actually meant to close out the vlog when I was at the airport, but I was literally running super late. I definitely did not plan my time properly because by the time I got to the gate, they were boarding and that's never happened to me. But anyway, I got back home on Monday, um, started back work Wednesday, which was yesterday. Um, so I decided to just get on here to close out the vlog. And thank you guys for, you know, tuning in and joining me on my little solo trip. I feel like yesterday everybody at work was asking like, let me see photos. And a lot of people didn't know that I was going on a solo trip. So a lot of people were like, oh my God, girl, like you have so much courage to do that. Like, can you give me some? I'm like, it's inside of you. You just have to challenge yourself and do it. Um, and honestly, I challenge everybody out there to take a solo trip at least one time in your life. Like at least one time in your life, just do it. Um, I think the best way to do it is just plan it out. Um, but I'm thinking of actually doing a video on how to like plan out a solo trip. Um, so stay tuned on that. But guys, I want to thank you guys again for joining me and make sure that you have subscribed and liked this video and I will see you guys in the next one and stay tuned because I'm going to be showing some photos of me at the Grand Canyon and everything. So bye. See you in the next one.